I'm just standing here trying to figure out how to start this vlog and I'm just not sure. So I'm just going to say, let's just get started and jump right in. Hi everyone. I'm Barbara. Welcome to my channel and welcome to some chit chat, some updates, some product reviews, which are also great gift ideas, stocking givers, um, little gift for your neighbors, whatever it might be. Um, so I have a couple items like that to share with you. But I know a lot of you guys have been asking about my grandson, Emmerich. Um, I don't even know where to start because I don't know where I ended up, but I think I ended up, I don't even know. I just know that for his eighth birthday, he was in Children's Hospital. We had a little celebration there. I think I might've done a vlog since then. Um, he's been in the hospital 20, he was in the hospital 26 days and when he got out he was just he just thrived um of course he was very happy but he was having problems walking so the poor little guy had to get a walking boot but i have to tell you he was he got around so good that i think it is the best thing for him and he's still in it it's been a few weeks um i think he's got another week or two in that boot and then he'll go get checked again. Nothing's broken. I think it's just the bone is really weakened from the leukemia and from being in the hospital for 26 days because he was quarantined for a while. Um, so in his room, not being able to go to the playroom, not being able to walk the halls or anything. So that was kind of rough. And then let's see what is going on right now. Right now he has the rhinovirus. Yeah, he's had a runny nose, he's been fussy. Uh, I don't think he's really ran a fever, but we've been keeping a real good eye on it. Um, just really uncomfortable. And his brother, Bennett, also has a runny nose and a little cough, but he's fine. He says, I feel fine. There's nothing wrong with me, Grammy. <laughs> uh, but let's see, what's today? Today is, what is today? Thursday, November the 18th. And I just kind of stopped what I was doing. I have a couple things I want to share with you. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to jump on here and talk to you guys. I'll tell you, I'm kind of like going to ooh, a little cuckoo over here. Um, just a lot going on. My daughter is very ill right now. She has come down with, I don't know what. She went to urgent care. Let's take Thursday. She went to urgent care on Tuesday. Tuesday? Yes. Tuesday, she hadn't been feeling well. She you knows kind of like sinuses. The boys had runny no noses, so she didn't really think a whole lot of it. You know, the temperature is changing, the weather's changing. So, you know, it's just kind of that time of year. Well, she just couldn't, she just couldn't, she just couldn't deal anymore. She had a, she ended up running a fever, um, very fatigued. She went to urgent care. Um, she got a prescription for an antibiotic and she is home in bed. Uh, the kids, dad and his girlfriend came and picked the kids up on Tuesday. Thank goodness. Um, because I'm like, oh goodness, you know, I don't want to catch it because I need to be able to help her. So dad and the girlfriend picked the boys up, took them to children's clinic, children's hospital clinic, because Emmerich is a patient there. And they immediately did a COVID test just to make sure that there's not, you know, any of us are carriers because we might not have symptoms, but we could be a carrier. Um, they both came back negative. Thank God. Uh, let's see what else he, let's see. Emmerich, that's when we found out he had the rhinovirus and they were also doing a workup on respiratory uh, to make sure there's no problems there. I have not heard. I'm assuming no news is good news. I am leaving my daughter alone. I have texted her. I offered to bring her things. I've offered to come sit with her, masked up. I would find some rubber gloves that we have for Emmerich and I would make sure I'm protected. But if she needs me, of course I will be there. But she's like, no, I think she's just in bed and just trying to ride this out. The antibiotics need to kick in and they haven't kicked in yet. So, um, actually she just got the antibiotics yesterday cause she's like, Oh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to get it filled. Let me research it, see what it is. And then she did. So yesterday I drove out there, picked it up. They didn't send it to the pharmacy electronically, which seems kind of strange. 
So anyway, so I dropped that off, never saw her. She was in bed, door closed. I went in masked up just in case. So I text her again this morning. I text her at night. I text her in the afternoon. Are you okay? Do you need anything? Just making sure that she responds to me. So um, that's where we are with that. And hopefully this fever breaks soon. Uh, let's see, what else? The house, oh my gosh. This house that we are building, oh, we are finally, finally closing our loan. We received an email today. You are clear to close on your loan. I'm like, this has taken forever. <laughs> um, so we are closing next week. Um, I think we're going to try to close on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving or the Friday after Thanksgiving because Mike and I both have some appointments on Tuesday and also I keep the boys. So, you know, I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. So we thought probably the day after Thanksgiving, if they're doing closings, which I'm sure they are, then hopefully that's when we'll close on our lot and our construction loan. As far as the <laughs> selections, oh my goodness. I wanna share with you what we have selected, but let me tell you, the process is exhausting. Um, we keep driving around. We also actually last weekend, we went out to a stone quarry, I guess is what it's called. And we looked at the huge big piles of stones that are acceptable in our neighborhood that we're building in because they have really tight restrictions. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we love the neighborhood. So it's where we want to be. You know, you got to you gotta do what you got to do, I guess. So we're still trying to figure out what we want to do. Um, so we're going to go back down there this weekend and we are going to pick up some actual stone to see and put it next to another house that is being built that is the same color that we want to see how we might like it and how much we might, might want, or if we decide we don't want any stone at all. So that's kind of where we're at on that. Um, the house is going to be more modern, and we picked out a front door, which they tell you, the builder's like, just you gotta pick a door out from the book like everybody else. I'm like, what? So we just helped ourselves into one of the houses that was being built last weekend, walked around, um, because we are debating about you know, the windows, you have options of color of windows. In our neighborhood, they have to be wood windows. I know, I'm like, what? I'm like, but I like these other windows. I did go to the window store and uh, walked around there, looked at them, learned more about them because they don't take you there. They just say, this is what you're getting. They are pillow windows, which is really good, so that's good. Um, and we are doing casement windows. So I'm like, okay, you guys know me, if you've been following me, that I am more of a neutral girl. And so is Mike, actually. He's kind of like, oh, that's too dark, or this is, you know, whatever he goes. So we're gonna stay in the kind of the light white family of color, but we're gonna accent, accents it, accent it with a darker color. So we are probably going to go with black windows, you know, the black frame on the inside, and then we're gonna have the nice um, white trim around it, and it's gonna really make that pop. And I'm seeing that more and more in catalogs, everything that I've been researching. I love, love, love the look. It's more of a modern look. It's not a real bulky black, but it's black. <laughs> And at first I was like, oh, I don't know. But the more and more I see it, the more and more I love it. So and Mike's really like, I don't really care, he says. You know, the um, windowsill will be white, you know, and that, but the it'll have that little trim because we don't really do blind, I mean curtains. We do blinds and we're gonna have a view outside the back of our house and we wanna be able to see, like the blinds are gonna be up. You know, we're gonna be on full display except at night. So we'll, we're trying to decide what kind of blinds to get that we can close at night to give us the privacy when we want it. Maybe I'll put curtains up in the bedrooms. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not a real curtain person. I like nice, clean 
lines. Less is more for me. And I think you guys have figured that out. That's just my style. And Mike's, he's loving it. So it's so funny when he comes, because he used to be very, very traditional, very traditional. So we kind of clashed a little bit. So he's really liking where we're kind of headed with our design, which really, really surprises me. And so I'm excited about the windows. I really, really am. I think it's gonna look nice. And in the back of the house, um, the patio is gonna be off of the living room, which is really just a great room. We don't have a formal living room. And the dining room is kind of to the side. And both of those walls are gonna be all glass. It's gonna be a door. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. And that frame is dark. That's the way they come. So I was like, hmm, okay. So that's why I'm going with the dark. So all that, you probably don't care. You're probably like, move on, Barbara. <laughs> so, but there's nothing, we have not approved anything at all yet. Nothing's been approved yet. So, but we're getting close. All right, and when I when we do get to, you know, to where we finally approve something, I will share that with you guys. And hopefully we will be able to break ground yet this year, but maybe not. All right, what do I want to share with you? Okay, so I talked about Emmerich. I talked about the house. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got this great box in the mail. Company reached out to me over a month ago. And I feel so bad because I have not filmed this to share it with you guys. Um, they have sent me some candles. And they are really nice. They, I've, I've burnt, I've... Well, I've, I've lit one so that I could try them out before I share them with you guys. And let me tell you, I'm pretty impressed. I'll, I'll be honest, I wasn't sure. And they come in a, it's called Prime Bold. I know I didn't say B-O-L-B-E correctly, but here's how they come. There are 12 in a box. They're gonna make great stocking stuffers. These are gonna be so nice. And actually my, oh, my granddaughter, my 25 year old granddaughter and her boyfriend came over on Sunday and we made dinner, we grilled out steaks and we played um, Block Us, our, one of my favorite games. We played Uno, it was so nice. Oh my God, I, we didn't take any photos. I should have taken some photos. Um, but anyways, let's get back to the candles. The candles are scented, it's a scented gift set. There are 12 in here, look at how, nice and colorful they are. Here's the one that I have lit. They come with the lid. I'm shaking. <laughs> Had too much coffee today. Here's the lid. I'll pull another one out, but I, I'll i tell you, I was really impressed with the scent that came from this little candle. It is a tin. Um, this one is peppermint. And Mike walked in the door, he's like, wow, what's it, what is that? I said, it's that little candle in the other room. I said, he goes, how long did you burn that? I said, about two hours ago. I know, it. they smell really, really good. Really good. Okay, so this one is peppermint. Let me tell you, let me get another one out. See how cute they are? Let me get a few of them out. I wanna see what's in the bottom. These are going in stockings. And I actually showed them to my granddaughter. She goes, I love candles. I said, well, you're just gonna have to wait. <laughs> so, and then, so those were on top. And then these are the ones on the bottom. They burn really nice. They have, let's see, let me tell you. 100% uh, natural soy wax, 100% biodegradable. They burn 15 to 20 hours uh, soothing and relaxing, definitely. They smell so good. Uh, let's see, they're 2.5 ounces each. So they are pretty small. When I first got them, I was like, oh, those are kind of small. So I, I honestly, I didn't have, I was just like, oh, we'll see. They are good, they are nice. Um, some of the scents that come in the box, vanilla, rosemary, bluebell, jasmine, only wrote down a few of them. The price is $28.99 for a dozen of these. I will leave my link below. They sent me a link that, through Amazon. Amazon. 
yeah, $28.99 through Amazon. So, you know, if you have Amazon Prime, you've got other things you're going to buy, you know, you can get them free shipping. Also, what I need to share with you guys is I have an Amazon storefront. Yes, Amazon storefront. Okay, let me tell you. My darling friend, Angela, has been telling me and telling me, you need to get an Amazon storefront. I'm like, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, her and I have talked about it and she, you know, she has one also, obviously. And I was just like, oh, I just don't know. I just don't know. Well, I, it took me a little bit to get it because I, it wasn't a priority for me. Well, I finally have it up. I have a few items in there. So I'll leave, I'll leave the, if you just want to look at the candles, I'll leave the, the link for Amazon there. But I will also leave a link for my Amazon storefront. And I have put some items in there like, you know, uh, games. I, there's only a couple items in there that I really like. Oh, hold on. The very first item I put on my storefront are these. These PDI Easy Screen cleaning Cleaners. And you just pop one out here and they are amazing. And I found these, they're less than $10. How many are in here? 70 wipes. They had these at the hospital in my grandson's room. And I'm like, what are these? Because in the room, they have a iPad for the kids. So they have these to clean them and they are a disinfectant also, I'm pretty sure, because you can smell it. Um, I'm pretty sure it is, but I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> when I used one of these in the room, I was like, oh my gosh, these things are amazing. Um, we use them all the time. My daughter, I bought her one. Her box is almost empty, but she has two kids. So, you know, it's just me and Mike here. These, I'm telling you what, you will be so happy with these. I'm figure if the hospital is using them, I'm going to use them. They don't streak. Mm-mm. No streaking. Yeah. Love these. So this is on my Amazon storefront also. This this is, you know, I love those. All right, let's see what else. Because I don't want this vlog to be too long. All right, my lip color. I have been wearing this. Now, I've had this on for probably two hours already before I start filming. I absolutely love these. These are my go-to. They're by Nude Stick. They come, well, this one came in this little box. Um, I actually ordered this from BoxyCharm because I had some points to spend. And I was just like, eh, just send me that, you know. And it, at the point, you know, I didn't care because I just wanted to use my credits before, you know, I can't use them anymore. So these are a gel lip and cheek balm. And I have on this one, and they can't find a two pack. Maybe you can only get them through BoxyCharm, I don't know. But they are amazing. They come in this great little case, and I'm not gonna shine this, but they're on the other side of this lid is a mirror. So you could put this in your bag and you have a mirror. So what I do is I have, this color is Siren, and this is, what I line my lips with. So it's kind of red, I like it. And then this one is posh. So it's lighter. And I go on the end, after I, I line, cause it's a thick lining, then I blot it and then I use this on the inside. I love, love, love these. And with them, you get a little sharpener. As you can tell, I've used mine. Yeah, I mean, that's how much I've used them because I've already had the sharpen them. So these are actually in my, I put them in, I keep my brushes in an old candle, empty candle holder. <laughs> and that's where my brushes are. So these are sitting in there. And when I do my makeup, I know I'm gonna do my lips. Um, I have another one of these that I keep uh, I put in my purse if I'm going to go somewhere, but normally once my lips are done, my lips are done, unless I'm going to be gone all day. All right. I cannot find the two pack of these. Love, love, love this. Um, I've not, I have not used them on my cheeks, just on my lips. 
I found them on Macy's of all things for nine color, nine different colors, but you only get one and the sharpener for, I think it's $26. And there are nine colors. My two colors are in there. Siren and Posh are my two colors. Love these. These are formulated with over 25% super hydrating, lip protecting, plant-based oils, and vitamin E. There's more information on there, but I was just like, I'm sold. Yeah, I'm sold. So love, love, love those. Nice gift. A very nice gift, even if you just got one. And I'm not sure if they come in this case, the ones from Macy. Ulta has them, but I couldn't find both of my colors on Ulta's website. Um, maybe Sephora has some. I think I've saw them online at QBC. They were like a dollar cheaper, but you might have to pay shipping. So they're out there, but I'll leave them Macy's link. If you guys are interested, love, love, love it. The other thing that I absolutely love is this Rituals hand lotion. I, I got this in my advent calendar. I don't know how to say that other word. If I can find this, I will link it below. It is light. And it smells, I put some on before I start filming. It smells good. I put this on before Mike came home one night and I did not have a candle blowing <laughs> or on at that time. And we were getting, he came home, he came in, we're getting ready to leave. He's standing next to me, he goes, man, you smell good. <laughs> I'm like, I just have deodorant on that I put on this morning. So it's not that. And I just put my hand lotion on. This is in my bag. So I had to go and get it to um, show you guys. All right. One more thing, and then I'm going to finish this vlog. I think I need to start vlogging more like day to day, even if I need to do it at my daughter's house or something when I have things to tell, share with you guys, or I want to, you know, tell you, Oh, wait, I got two more things. Oh my gosh. I have to say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Darlene Aldridge. Did I say your last name right? I hope I said it right. She was so sweet to send the boys a gift. Uh, they absolutely love it. I will insert some photos. Emmerich could not get the balls out fast enough. I mean, he was pulling it from me when I was just trying to open it. And then, you know, I put the rest of it together and oh my gosh, he loves, loves, loves it. And then Bennett, he's in the soccer. He's um, taking soccer, uh, playing soccer on Saturdays now and he's loving it. He said he would play every day. And Darlene sent him a um, soccer game that he could play outside. And he's played with the neighbor boy. Um, loves, loves, loves it. So thank you so much, Darlene. They love them. All right, uh, gifts. When my grandson was in the hospital, there is so much support and uh, so much generosity that when my daughter was there, she was, the nurses were bringing stuff in or the, um, uh, I don't know if it's called life care or somebody, uh, I, can't re I can't remember if we've been out of the hospital for a few weeks. <laughs> um, but somebody is always bringing something in. My daughter received a big bag of full size, like jumbo size, shampoo, conditioners, soaps. Um, she gets little packages of all kinds of things and stuff for Emmerich. And a lot of the stuff she just turns around and redonates. She's so much generosity out there. She donates it back to the hospital and asks them to give it to someone else. Um, but one of the things, and there's like toys, like Emmerich has gotten you know, they find out what their interests are. There's books, there's like stuffed animals. There's, they know he loves trains, Thomas the Train and golf, you know, so those things come also. But one of the things that she was really touched about because he is bald, although his hair is coming back. Yes, they said that it will come back because he's in the last phase of this chemo. Um, he's supposed to have chemo on Monday and I don't know if he's gonna be able to if he's still sick, so. We'll see, send some prayers. But one of the things that she was really touched by is this hat. It's called Love Your Melon. Look at this. She was in tears. I think it just made it more realistic that her son doesn't have any hair 
and then he's gone through, you know, chemotherapy. So, um, this is, she wanted me to share this with you guys. This is just really, really nice. They've received blankets. I mean, the blankets have really come in handy when he's in there. Um, things get dirty, they get stained, you know, things happen. Um, the hospital does have a washer and dryer that's free, which is really nice. But she was just, I think this just made her a little emotional. So, so it came in this really nice bag. There were some other things that came, but um, books and stuff. So this was really nice. So wanted to share that with you That's guys. That's it. That's all I have. So thanks for watching, everyone. I'm so happy to be communicating with you guys. I can't tell you how much it brightens my day. So keep the comments coming, and I will reply when I can, but I am reading all of them, and I very much appreciate your time and support and i just love you guys so everyone have a wonderful morning afternoon or evening wherever you are from my home to yours